Hey guys, welcome to the channel. So I recently put up a time-lapse video carving up a moose and I decided, you know what, we'll just do a tutorial on uh, carving a simple welcome moose. All right, so just gonna be a simple welcome moose tutorial. If you guys wanna do more or add more detail, that is totally up to you, but hopefully this video will uh, kind of give you the basics. If that's something you guys are interested in, be sure to give this video a thumbs up, stick around. <laughs> Like I said, we're going to be carving a moose and I'm hoping to walk you guys through that. So the first thing I'm starting with, I've got a chunk of pine. You can use whatever you have available. Now this is a quartered piece. This is from a large log and this is a quarter of that log. Quarter. Sometimes I use thirds. This might be a third even. But you guys can see we got like a triangle shape. Now with this already having that triangular shape, it's already kind of setting us up for the moose carving. So what I like to do is come off the center. So the round is to the back. Find center, draw a line back. All right. I'm going to figure out where the, the rack is, where those antlers are going to be, right? Center is going to be center of the nose of the moose. The outside of that rack is going to be out here. Not sure if you guys can be able to see this very well. Okay, so we got to leave room for the snout. We kind of draw. It doesn't even. It doesn't have to be curved. Straight across makes it easier. So we'll draw it across. We're gonna lose these corners. Okay, that's kind of what the top will look like. We'll keep this, and this will get cut down. Now that means the snout's going to be down here. So how tall do you want the rack? Comparison. This is 24 inches tall overall. So that's going to be the overall height of this moose. Now his rack's probably only going to be 3 to 4 inches tall, which means it's going to come down to about here. Okay. And we need to figure out where that snout's going to be. His snout, or his head and face, are going to be about here. All right. It's a, it's a little bit tricky, but once we get making some cuts, it'll make sense. So now I know this line, though, is this far, and that that rack is going to be there. Okay. And this is center. So what I want to be able to do is I'm going to make one cut dead center, and I'm going to angle my saw so it comes down here, and kind of gauge it in the back. So I still have that four inches. Draw that line all the way around roughly three, four inches all the way around. So now how tall the rack's gonna be. Okay. In there somewhere. So there's my center. So now I know I'm cut here. I'm gonna wanna stop on that line and on this line. So that means the saw is gonna be at an angle. And we're done. From there, we're gonna have to turn the saw sideways and cut up in. And then we'll start removing material away and it'll start to really take shape. You guys can see we're getting some shape to it right these will be our our antlers and his snout's gonna come here so now we got to start thinking about you know trimming some stuff away and making some cuts as usual everything I'm using I'll try to have links through Amazon you guys purchase through those links they help support the channel if you guys want to do a little more than that you can follow the link to the patreon account and you can help me 
well, help support the, me and this channel a little more directly. So I want to come in and figure out how wide I want that head to be. Each carving is going to be different depending on the size of log that you have. So I just gauge what it's going to be, you know. Um, his snout's actually going to end up being a little shorter than normal due to the way this piece is cut up, but that's okay. So I know this will be it here. And I'm going to have the front of his snout there. Now those antlers, we're going to have to kind of cut in like this. We're leaving a lot of meat on these, okay? These are grab-and-go items from like a craft fair or a wholesale store. And a lot of times people are going to grab them by the antler and go put them in their car. So I leave a lot of meat on those. So when people do that, even though I advise not to, I still do it, hopefully they'll stay together longer. Now, what I want to do first is cut in to where the head and the snout are going to be. So we're going to cut in close to these lines, but not directly to. Once that cut's made, then we're going to angle out this way. So in and out on both sides, and it's going to take away a whole wedge for us, okay? <laughs> All right, you guys can see the cuts right down where the face is going to be. Now we got to start working away in here. It's going to say welcome right here, but we got to remove this, this material. This will be his arm coming up like that. Okay. We gotta get rid of this on both sides. It's a little tricky. You're really gonna have to manipulate the saw here and make little cuts, and little cuts, and little cuts to get that triangle shape out. We got the head blocked out and the antlers. It's really not taking that long. This isn't that bad. It's getting over, you know, the first cut fear. Just making those first cuts, having that picture in your head of what you want to do. So now we're going to angle cut that front a little forward. And that straight line, because so it kind of got that flat snout.
we've got the face blocked out and these arms right I got to cut down here for the other arm and then we'll start shaping the face and we'll round the corners where those antlers are Now we got to start thinking about those eyes. They're usually going to be right in here for me. And what that means is we'll angle the saw to that line and cut. So the saw is going to go angled in and then remove material. So we're going to come in and kind of remove it and shape it back. So we got his arms roughed out. This is where it's gonna say welcome, right here down the front. As you guys can see, that's what's going on. To get to this point, it is a good idea to put the moose in the jaw horse like I did once I started carving, okay? You should make all, every, all your cuts to this point. Now it gets tough, because you gotta to get down near that jaw horse, and there's really not a lot of room. So, this is where you need to be really safe, all right? There's a couple things you guys can do. You build a little platform like this. Honestly, it works better. I didn't have one, but normally uh, four by four right here, screwed to the top is the best because it's a little more clamping space. But right now I got a two by four screwed on with a two by 10. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna actually screw it to the bottom of my moose because he's not gonna go back in the vise. So, I'll screw this into the bottom of my moose and then put it in the jaw horse. Then I don't have to worry about anything moving around. All right. So now he's screwed on, he's on there pretty good. I'm gonna take my Dixon lumber crayon right here and kind of figure out where, what the heck I'm doing. Everything here is gonna be angled cut up. But I kinda, you know, moose are tall, right? So we made his arms look big and shouldery. I want him to look like his legs are up by his body, right? So that means we're gonna kinda bring this up like this and come down. His toes will sort of be in here somewhere. We'll do the same on the other side. So it's kind of like he's, his knees are up to his chest, if that makes sense. 
Now, before we can get to that point, we need to continue this straight cut all the way down where welcome's gonna be carved. And then I'll start moving in and just start making those cuts. Now getting these triangles out of there, these pyramids, because that's what they end up looking like, can be tricky and you could be dealing with kickbacks. So just good grip on your saw, be paying attention. You should have all your safety gear on and if you're not ready to do this sort of carving, then wait, go back and do some bears and get more comfortable with your tools. Get that other side out and then we'll start shaping in that upper part of where the leg's gonna be. So we're gonna make this like his knee, okay? We're gonna to have to bring it out and kinda of have it come back like a little bit so that the foot can be in here, the hoof. And in order to achieve that, right now, there's that straight cut from this from creating where the sign's gonna be. So I need to cut that off straight right next to it and then concave in, like cut in and then get that wedge out. And then like the body's done. For the most part, the body's done. It's just cleanup work. Do that same thing over here, and yeah. clean it up keep shaping it but there's a basic basic shape for you i mean you can make this leg down here more and have more body space if you want but this is the look i'm going for so right now i've got the moose spun around here's the back of the rack the back of the head arm and body i don't do a ton of work back here for these okay uh, people can stick them in a corner they can do whatever they want but i, I don't do a ton of work what we need to do though is kind of trim down these antlers and round the head up all right, so we're gonna make some angled cuts in and remove those wedges, angle it in, angle it down, and remove a wedge, and then sort of just clean it up and get rid of some of the roughness. Don't do that either. <laughs> I should have blown the dust off earlier. The ice screwed up right here. Look how deep that cut is. I went way too deep, way too deep. It's better to go uh, more shallow and then trim down than do what I did here because that's all the way in his face, right? Looks awful, which means I'm gonna have to cut some wood and potentially just glue it in there or I can try to carve it all away, but then he's gonna have a really smushed head. So what I'll probably do is go in on my bandsaw and cut some strips or take, take a, a wedge piece like this, put it in the vise and cut a nice thin strip off of here and then just glue it in. All right, but we're gonna continue to finish it like it is and uh, 
maybe we'll come back and we'll fix that in the end so here we are I want to do his nostrils which normally I just do a cut like that so I'm drawing that on now it's always better to draw welcome on there than to just eyeball it you'll run out of space faster than you think I am not going to carve welcome in this with the chainsaw I'm gonna use my saber tooth bits and we'll do that in just a few minutes so right now we have done some drawing up here on the top for the antlers okay so you guys can see and what I'm going to do is take the nose of the bar and I'm going to cut up in here at an angle so I'm gonna start deep like down here and angle it in hopes that the bar comes out up here and work it a little bit we'll do that on both sides and then we'll come through with the saw cut down and remove the material I use the nose and just kind of clean it out and shape it. What I want to do is bust out the die grinder with one of my saber tooth flame bits. And I'm going to start off with the half inch bit. So it's going to be this guy. And what I want to do is I'm going to clean up in here and start kind of making this look like some shallow antlers. cleaned up, rounded, sanded. I'm gonna take my 3 8 see it, my 3 8 flame bit from Sabretooth and do the letter. Well guys, here is a finished moose. You can have a good idea of what it looks like. That's after you spray paint 
the welcome part and sand it back off. All your welcomes painted whatever color you want. You can see how I burned it, right? So I burnt the whole thing and then I used that Arbor Tech mini carver to come in and clean this back up. Now you can use your saber tooth bit and a die grinder, come through and clean it up with that. The antlers, this wood has a lot of bluing but they were lightly hit with the torch to remove the fuzziness and left as natural as possible. Natural color of the wood. As you can see, they're pretty light up here. Okay, hope you guys are getting a pretty good look. I'm not gonna finish the one we've been carving and the reason is I really need to fix this piece right here because this is, this is horrible. I don't wanna scrap the whole piece. Instead, I'll repair it and the messed up one will probably just get brown paint instead of the burn. So anyway, I did black paint in his eyes. Okay. And I did a little black paint in the nostrils. Just define it a little bit more. And that's it. So, this guy will look like that guy when I'm done. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. This time for real. That's it. Um, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope it's been helpful. If you guys have any questions, ask below, okay? Down in the comment area. Ask. I'll see what I can do about helping you out. If you guys want to find the tools I'm using because you need to upgrade or get some, no big deal. Check out the Amazon links that are in the description below. I'll try to uh, link up everything I can find or something similar, all right? The only thing I can't do links through is the chainsaws, and that's just the way it goes, so... Yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Give it a thumbs up. Be sure to hit subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time.